Okay, let's go for a flight. Get the key. In the countryside you must always shut the gates, close the gates. I can leave this gate open. I don't think the cattle are in here. The grass will be trampled down. That's an African gate. Dokey. Now I need my goggles. Okie dokie, let's do our tests. Okay, yep, that's good. That's good. Yeah, one's looking good. Right now we can test if we're in, we've got a GPS lock. Flight mode stabilized. Yep, we've got lock. Okay, we Return to home. Motor not on. Race throttle to 80%. Motor not on. Armed. There we go. My radio goes berserk if I don't arm and then put the throttle up to 80%. So we should be good to go. Okay. And there's just a slight breeze. Yeah. I think I'm going to launch this way into the breeze. Okay. Oh, let's get that piece of grass off. There we go. Okay, here we go.
Whoa, hit that big branch then. A <laughs> shame. Things I do to you, plane. There we go, another couple of flights. I'm going to do a bit more test flying of my Tina Whoop when I get back home because uh, I'm trying to adjust the rates so that I can get the, the feel that I want. Uh, because I made a mistake, I didn't write the rates down, um, and for some reason. I can get, I can go into the other the old flight controller, but the one of the ESCs doesn't work. Uh, but I, the rates didn't look right to me. But anyway, let's, let's go home. Back to the old aeroplane. My track. You have to follow the track because you can get. Uh, Ardwolf holes and they're huge and a couple of times I put my quad down down them and it tips you over so I drive the same path every time and then I know I'm safe care for the snakes too. When I've been riding my mountain bike I've come across wrinkles which is a cobra and I've come across one of the most dangerous snakes in the world is a puff adder and it's because they're so slow and but they're the slowest moving snake apparently but they're the fastest striking and I've come across a couple of those so you tend to give them a wide berth. Oops, can't get the thing in. There you go. Watch out. Okay, as I say, this is an African gate. Right, through the Peruvian jungle. Off again. Oops, a daisy. It's a beautiful morning. I think I need to try and get other people in Lady Brown flying. And follow the country code. If the gate's closed, close it. If it's open, you can leave it open. It's because someone might be driving cattle. This is cocky boss. It's a big weed. Probably been bitten about 20 times by mosquitoes. Luckily we don't have malaria in this part of South Africa. Okay, look, you see the big dung beetle? He's trying to go in the house. I, just, I think it's, I don't know what type of beetle it is, but I don't want to touch it because it bites me. There we go, look at the size of that beetle. Africa's not for wimps, eh? When you get, let me turn around so you can see. When you get bugs like that, jeez. 
Okay, let's put him on the garden. Let's put him, I'll just put him down there. Nope, let's put him down the bottom. I'm not sure what type of beetle. It looks like a dung beetle because it's so big, but I'm not sure. There you go. There you go. Let's put you in there. There we go. There you go. You're safe now. Oh, upside down. No, that's not good. There you go. No, come on. Are you drunk? You've been drinking last night. There you go. There you go. Are you over? There you go. There we go. There we go. I think my grass on my garden could be baled. 